Webster Dictionary, addiction is a strong and harmful need to regularly have or do something. Intense craving, loss of control over the object of one's craving, and um, are all components of addiction. There are many different types of drugs. Drug and alcohol abuse are not the only types of addictions. People can be addicted to even the simplest of things, such as chocolate, candy, and even their phones. There are many different types of drugs. Tobacco, marijuana, alcohol, etc. Each with its own set of issues and consequences, and each one slowly destroying your body. In America, 20 million people over the age of 12 are addicted to something, not including tobacco. 100 people die every single day because of drug overdoses. And in 2011, 9.4 million people were reported driving <laughs> under the influence, not only putting their own lives in danger, but endangering the roads for other drivers. Rebecca was a student that had just moved from Arizona to California. She, had, she was nervous about starting a new school and having to meet new friends. During lunch, she was invited to sit with a group of students she had met in her English class. Rebecca could tell right off the bat, however, that, this, that, this, that these groups of kids were not good for her. They constantly talked about drugs and partying, and they were failing half their classes. But because Rebecca was so desperate to make friends, she sat with them anyways. Over time, however, Rebecca started conforming to their ways. She started drinking and partying with them, and before she knew it, her grades were dropping and she started losing herself. Alcohol is one of the most common addictions in America and one is one of the most untreated cases of addiction. Why? Because it is legal. Alcohol impairs your coordination, causes you to have uncontrolled thinking, so you do things that you wouldn't normally do. It increases your risk of cancer and causes memory loss. Tobacco does the same thing. It affects your brain, your heart, your lungs, your digestive system, your larynx, your muscles, and your legs. It causes your teeth to turn yellow. It causes you to have uncontrollable bladder control. And it causes your lungs to turn black, which increase, increases the risk in lung cancer. Both alcohol and tobacco negatively affect the body's equilibrium. For example, in our liver cells, we have these smooth endoplasmic reticulum organelles. They help to detoxify drugs and poisons. And with, the increase in the, in, with the increase in intoxication, however, the increase, there's an increase in detoxification. As a result, there needs to be an increase in the amount of alcohol you consume to get the same effect. For example, if you started off drinking only two bottles of beer a day, over time, you're going to need five bottles of beer to have the same effects you had when you had just taken two. Rebecca soon fell in love with a guy named Josh. Josh was a typical bad boy. He was constantly high, did half his classes, and constantly talked back to his teachers. Rebecca felt, however, that she could be the one to change him. Things didn't go quite as planned, however. Josh knew how in love Rebecca was with him, and he used this to his advantage, getting her to do things like drinking and smoking, things she normally wouldn't have done. One night, they were at a friend's house, and Josh passed Rebecca a marijuana joint. Rebecca had heard of the negative effects marijuana had, had, has on a person's body. However, because she was so in love with Josh and she wanted to please him, she took it anyways, and soon she became addicted. Marijuana is a gateway drug, meaning that it leads to the use of and addiction to harder drugs, such as cocaine and heroin. Marijuana results in memory loss, impaired coordination, an increase in heart rate, and it increases the risk of cancer. Re Rebecca soon was taking up to five joints of marijuana a day, and she soon needed something harder. She found that marijuana was, just wasn't doing the same thing it had, the same effect it had on her the first time she tried it. One night when she was at a club with some of her friends, a guy passed her some ecstasy pills. Rebecca saw how much fun people taking ecstasy were having. And she wanted to join in on that fun. She wanted to cut loose. So she took the pills. Ecstasy is not a gateway drug. It is a club drug. It results in nausea, paranoia, <laughs> depression, memory loss, increased heart rate, um, impaired coordination, and much, much more. It took Rebecca driving one night while she was high and almost killing a small family with two young children to realize she had a problem. With the help of teachers, counselors, rehab, parents, new friends, and finding new passions, however, uh, she was able to overcome her drug addiction 
and she was able to grow up and tell people the dangers about using drugs. Addiction is a hard obstacle to overcome because of the negative effects it has on your body when one cuts off the drug. Each of us has a set equilibrium in our bodies. We all have a pH of 7, a temperature of 98 degrees Fahrenheit, and a certain amount of dopamine, which is a happy drug that's released into our bloodstream when happy things happen to us. And, and, and we're all set, right? However, when one of us starts taking a drug, this changes the amount of dopamine that is released into our systems, and as a result, all our organs and organ functions have to change to match the new amounts of dopamine in the system. So our equilibrium moves up here. When we cut off this drug, however, we need to get back to this equilibrium, but our body doesn't want to because it has become dependent on the increase in dopamine in our blood system. So that's why that when someone cuts off a drug, it, it results in like depression and spasms and seizures. But how does addiction affect you? You might not be smoking cigarettes in the dump behind school, and you might not be partying every Friday night, but addiction affects all of us. Whether it be your uncontrollable need to finish the next episode on Netflix, or not being able to resist a piece of chocolate sitting in your kitchen, we are all addicted to something, and the key to getting over these addictions is self-control. So next time, before you click play next episode on Netflix, remember to stop, think, and ask yourself, what are the consequences of doing this? Thank you.